Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's see how our dough's doing and pull some window panes. Let's go ahead and see what our dough can do at 30 minutes. We'll start with the pastry flour here. We'll go ahead and pull a nice window pane. So you can see that this is actually pulling a pretty nice window pane, but it's weak. You can see it has real easy tears. And the dough's fragile. You can feel that it's fragile. But it actually pulled a, a fairly nice window pane for a pastry flour. Let's set that aside and try our all-purpose flour. Okay, this is our gold medal all-purpose flour. Let's pull a window pane with with the all-purpose flour. Okay, now you can see I was able to pull the window pane much further before tearing than the pastry flour. And then also just feel the, the window pane. It's pretty strong. I can tell by pulling it and feeling it though that it would feel a little weaker than a bread dough. This is the more bread dough. Let's see what kind of a window pane it will pull. Well, this is really a strong. Okay, look at that. That's really doing well. It's got a really nice strong window pane. You can pull it until it's virtually translucent and is actually hard to tear. It's really nice and strong. So with a window pane, you want to just tell by pulling, if it can pull a translucent window pane, how easy it can pull it, what it feels like when you're pulling it, and also how easily it tears. Now here's our gold medal bread flour. It was the one highest in protein. It was 13%. This is also a very nice window pane. I can tell that this dough was easier to pull the window pane. It wasn't as tight as the more bread flour. And that might be because the more bread flour has dough conditioners in it. But this, even though this is already torn, it feels pretty strong. This dough, even though it's 13% protein content, it's actually a little stickier too, is a little bit weaker than the more bread which was the 12%. Just by pulling it, I've already tightened the gluten, so it's not going to stretch as much. This dough here is a little drier and a little stiffer. And this one here was much more extensible, much more stretchy. See that? Look at that. This dough is a lot tighter. So I would say that this, it might be the dough conditioners in it, or there might be higher quality protein in it. This bread flour will work really well for artisan breads. You want a dough that's nice and extensible, which means nice and stretchy like this, because it will help you to get a nicer open crumb. Now, more bread is actually my favorite. If you have a stiffer dough like this, what you would do is you would learn to handle it. Instead of adding salt early on, you would do an auto lease to help make the dough a little bit more extensible. And it will hold a lot of additives to your dough, like if you want to add the whole grains to it, or if you want to add other additives like raisins and nuts and things like that. I also very often will mix bread flour with an all-purpose flour because then you kind of get a lot of the strength and you also get some of the extensibility, the real stretchiness. This one is weaker. The all-purpose flour is weaker, although it's nice and extensible. This is the bread flour, which is still nice and extensible, but you look at that, it's a lot stronger. This is our pastry flour. It's also pretty weak, but this pastry flour here actually 
Yeah, it does really well. It's it's a nice pastry flour. But you can tell by looking at it, it has a shreddy look to it, a grainy look to it. You can tell that it's weak. So that will make some really nice pastries and uh, cakes and, and cookies and things like that. And these are our bread flours, our all-purpose flour, our pastry flour. So we'll cover these for a, another 30 minutes. And then I'll be back and we'll check the window panes again. However, doing a test at 30 minutes is usually enough to tell you whether it's a good quality flour or not. But we'll just go ahead and do it one more time. What we just did with the window pane was similar to doing a dough fold. So we actually strengthened the gluten a little bit. I'll be back in 30 more minutes and we'll take another look and then we'll see how our dough's doing.